What's up, Supercross.com? My name is Donnie Elmer Jr. This is Daniel Laporte. You're now sitting inside the worldwide warehouse of FMF Racing. I'm about to take you guys on a tour of Big D's Garage, aka The Vault, a 90,000 square foot manufacturing facility. Come on, Laporte, help me with this. Ugh. You're now in the manufacturing facility, and this is kind of the, where it all starts right here. So when we get new project bikes, whether it's a KX85 or the new 2012 CR450 in the back, this is kind of where everything starts, is where we start jigging up the product, kind of fitting it up, seeing what, how it's going to work, and then from there we take it to the dining room to start testing. Well, you've seen the R&D process where the bikes come in. From there we start making jigs. Everything in this factory has to have a jig. We have thousands and thousands of jigs, from two strokes to four strokes to road racing exhaust. We've had to build mezzanines because we have so many jigs. So the way I have in my hand is exactly how it fits on your bike. So we've got our new 2012 bike applications. You've seen how we make the jigs. Now it's time to come to the stamping department to start the process of making a pipe. Everything here starts off as raw material. American material made right here under one roof. Starts off flat. First process, making an end cap. It's kind of how it starts right there. Funky looking thing. Five processes later, we finally have a finished end cap. It takes a long time to make one part here. One of the reasons why four-stroke product is a little more expensive than two-stroke stuff, it takes about five times longer to make a four-stroke pipe than it does a two-stroke pipe. This is where it all began for FMF over 30 years ago, building two-stroke pipes. You can see I'm standing in the middle of all these, these pipes. The two-stroke's kind of the history of motocross. A lot of guys out there today don't even know what a two-stroke is. I think they're going to find out in the future. I think they're going to come back really strong. They're great bikes. They're a lot of fun to ride. They're lightweight and they're inexpensive. So we're really behind the two-stroke market still and we're thriving. So it's really exciting to be still making these things. I think the, the four-strokes better watch out. So this is just one more piece of the puzzle of Big D's craziness. This this manufactured facility is created here. We also have our own tooling shop. We make all of our own tools that go on these huge presses that stamp out things like those end caps. It's pretty crazy. We've got a lot of them. And frankly, the thing scares me. What you see here is titanium in its rawest form. This coil started out really big and really, really heavy. But now we're turning into a piece of titanium tubing. So what this machine does is it turns flat titanium into a piece of titanium tubing. Okay, welcome to our machine shop. This is where we do all of our CNC of all of our own parts, plus make the tooling that you guys saw. So there's a lot of stuff that goes on in here and it's pretty involved. I have no idea how these guys do it. I just found this really cool drill bit. I gotta show you this, this is the coolest machine. I, I just love this. I wish I had one in my garage when I was a kid because I, I think I would have been a pipe builder or something, but watch this, it's really cool. Like, they nibble it down to get the right length, but I'll, I won't do it exactly, but this is called a nibbler and this is what they do. Wow, look how bad a job I just did. So we go through a lot of metal here at FMF. And as you can see in the back, you saw how we roll it. This is where we stage it. So this, all this material is getting ready to go uh, to our tube benders, which you'll see in a little bit. Big D's got a mountain of metal here. Okay, so now we're in the tube department. You've seen all the raw material in the background. We take straight tube and we can bend it any direction we want, from a header to a mid pipe. It's just another process that we have to do here to ensure the best quality product. It's pretty cool. Just don't stick your arm in there. You might come out with a something weird. Okay, so throughout this tour we've been showing you how we make a uh, four-stroke pipe. And uh, this is kind of the, the final stages of uh, packaging. I want to kind of fill you guys in a little bit. This is the actual muffler can. So it's a hollow piece of titanium that we've formed and welded. From there we'll peel the plastic off, try to keep the fingerprints away from it. We will uh, then take our, uh, our core which uh, this is our resonance chamber right here. As you can see, our mufflers are still really short, but we're still able to pass sound, which is a really big deal for us at FMF. We want to be on the forefront of sound, but we also want our mufflers to look cool and short and still uh, look really racy. So this is the core. From there, we'll, we'll pack it. We'll slide it into the four, factory 4.1. It's ready to go. Right in the box. And uh, onto your bike. Hey, Supercross.com, thanks for stopping by today. Even though you guys snuck into the dining room and caught some stuff you probably shouldn't have seen, 
We had a great day and thanks for coming. Forget it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, supercross.com, I've showed you way too much today.